Hello, good morning, my dear friends and students. I am Sondagan Nikond, and today we will analyze the design reinforced concrete structure. Different GTU exam paper. The first paper is November 2019, and second paper is May 2019. So clear your GTU exam using only IS code. You don't need to use the textbook or don't need to remember anything. So only use IS code and clear your exams. You can see here I took first paper November 2019 and this is November 2019 paper. I only analyze those questions who were asked from IS code as well as out of sources. So must watch the full video until the end. Question first answer any seven out of ten the first question define limit at it and different type of limit state the answer is the acceptable limit for the safety and serviceability required before failure occur is called a limit state this is given in is for basics page number 67 and these are the two type limit state of collapse and limit state of serviceability you can write up for this from the is code Second question give reason for using partial safety factor for the load. This is the factor which we are using for the factor of effect, uh, safety against the structure failure. Because uh, we are if the, we are designing a few for lower, uh, designing structure for few members and uh, suddenly sometimes the member uh, in the building will increasing. So then then and then we require a safety. So this is the factor of safety which will be provided. Generally, we will take for concrete is 1.5 and steel is 1.15. You can also visit the IS process is 68. Table is given there. Question first three. Write AQMX by D ratio for all the grade of steel. This is given in ISP 16 page number 9. This is the value. This is 250.0831. This is 415.0.479 and if 500.0.456. State equation of minimum eccentricity of the column. This is the equation of minimum eccentricity. A minimum L by 500 plus T by 30, which is minimum of 2 cm. Directly you can write from the IS code. Then next, state mean maximum distance between bars. Of main steel and distribution steel in slab. This is the spacing criteria of the slab steel. So, first of all, for the main steel, it is a three times effective depth. First criteria is three times effective depth, or second is run 300 mm, whichever is smaller. Second, this is the distribution steel. This is the five times effective depth and 450 mm, whichever is smaller. That means for the main, uh, main steel maximum spacing is 300 mm and distribution steel is 450. Give minimum numbers of bars and minimum diameter of longitudinal bar in square column. Minimum 12 mm diameter bar are used for the column and for square column you have to use minimum 4 numbers and for circular you have to use minimum 6 number. This is given in IS for six page number 40. 9. Write equation to calculate effective flange width of T beam and L beam. This is the equation directly given in IS process page number 35. You directly write it. Then next, they will determine development length for 60 mm diameter FE 250 grade of steel bar in compression. Take M25 grade concrete. This is the development length equation. This is the uh, Steel di uh, diameter of bar sigma as well use uh, 0 0.87% of FE 250. That means 0 0.87 into 250 divided, divided by 4. This is tau bd is uh, depending on the grade of concrete. For the M20, this is the value is 1.4 and 1.25 we multiply for compression. If this is FP41 uh, 415 or FP500. We have to again multiply with 1.6. I will explain it in the next slide. Then next 
डिफाइन शेयर स्टीरअप एंड लैटरल टाई यूज इन रेंट फॉर कॉन्क्रीट मेंबर स्टीरअप्स आर प्रोवाइडेड टू होल्ड द मेन रेट फोर्समेंट टूगेदर इन द आर सी सी स्ट्रक्चर दैट मीन्स स्टीरअप इज ऑलवेज यूज फॉर द टाई मेन रेंट फोर्समेंट एज वेल एज स्टीयर आर प्लेस प्रोपर इंटरवल टू बीम एंड कोलम टू प्रिवेंट द बकलिंग If we are providing uh, proper spacing, it will be reduced buckling failure. Steers used define the transfer reinforcement provided in a beam, where the primary mode of load transfer is through bending and shear. That means uh, steers is uh, steers is useful for the shear. Lateral tie. Lateral tie are used in column and the tie are. if evenly spaced along the full height of the column then question 10 state maximum compressive strain in concrete in axial compression and also define short column the maximum strain in concrete is value 0.00 0.0035 in bending so you have to directly write equation from ins professor page number 69 and the definition of the short column is whose lateral dimension is very small when compared to its length it is called a question 2 or 1 this is a check ones from the paper so you don't worry about the question series explain singly and doubly reinforced section and when doubly reinforced section is provided the beam that is longitudinal reinforced only in tension zone it is known as a single reinforcement that means in the only bottom part will be still provided so that is considered as a single reinforced beam and for double reinforced beam we have to provide still in the bottom part as well as top part that is called as a doubly reinforced section and the next question is when doubly reinforced section is used that depending on when the depth we will load on the beam will be high depth of the beam will be restricted then reinforced beam may not be able to take load so designing beam as a doubly rc beam this is question 2 draw a sketch for the cantilever beam showing reinforcement this question asked in each and every paper so must learn this question So let's see few things about the equation. This is the cantilever beam. This is the tension zone, and this is the compression zone. In the cantilever beam, this is tension, and this is compression because the beam will bend from this direction. So the portion is considered the compression, and the compression point considered as the tension. This is the cross section. This is the this is two is the two twenty diameter extra bar, and three twenty is one two and three twenty. This is the two ten nominal diameter provided here. Question three or two. Draw a sketch for the longitudinal view of the singly reinforced, simply supported beam along with shear reinforcement. This is the singly reinforced beam, and this is the stirrups, and this is. to this still start from here and it will be goes through here again this will be start from here and grows through here this is the 210 encourage bar this is the bottom still this is 460 mm diameter bar this is top still this continuing to 60 diameter bent up bar and this is the cross section effective depth overall depth so you have to draw shear reinforcement they that will take clearly defined as next question question 3b draw a net sketch for three span or may continuous slab with reinforcement detail this is given in a textbook page number 408 you can see this is the first second and three span continuous beam this is the the same way sketch reinforcement will be provided the bent up size this is start from here and like this and this is the extra bar provided this is extra bar provided here this is extra top bar 
this is the weight of the sex width of the support and also I provided one way continuous lab example and the theory you can read from them this is a and that was the already asked G2 question paper question 3 or B difference between a single reinforced and double reinforced this is given in a textbook page number 86 and 87 I provided directly textbook screenshot because if I write this all then it will it take so many uh, so long time so I directly take the screenshot of the textbook this is a single reinforced beam and a double reinforced beam this is a frequently asked question in GTU you can see here this is a single reinforced beam in which only main stage is provided in a bottom direction and here this is a double reinforced beam we are providing main reinforcement here and as well as here in the single RC beam uh, anchor bar is provided but the design is not done in the compression zone we are providing compression steel so we are we have to design the area of steel in compression in the second third point if the value of the mu is less than mu limit that means our moment is under the limit so we have to design single reinforced beam if the well if the our mu moment will be increasing mu limit then we have to design for the double reinforced beam this is the moment of resistance will be less for the single reinforced beam and the moment of resistance will be higher this is the less ductile and this is the ductility will be larger because we are providing more steel this cannot be used for the reversal of stresses and this is used for the reversal of stresses I don't have English books so I directly provided this Gujarati language books then next question question 3 or 3 how analysis of the T-beam is going done give step I already provide PDF file in the description box you can download all the T-beam steps as well as example which frequently asked in the ZTU exam the next question 3D differentiate between nominal shear stress and shear strength of the concrete as per IS Paper 6 2000 I also discuss the three cases for the design of area of shear reinforcement this is the nominal shear stress and then this is the design shear strength of the concrete you can write from the IS Paper 6 page number 72 I am not including this all the very much and I am not going into the deep because the video will be too much large. This is the description criteria describes criterical section for one way shear and two way shear in column footing. This is uh, I already I did not get in the brief. I will provide it in a few things. Check for one way shear. This is an example and the one way check is consider from the column phase to D distance this is the column this is a depth section this is the example and this is a step you have to write for the check for one way here first of all you get the view then tau v tau c pt then this is for the check for two ways here in which we have to calculate we have to subscribe this length from total length so this is the our column dimension this is the depth by 2 and this is also depth by 2 this is the v or length of the critical section 4 times vd tau v tau c dash and this is at the final tau v always less than tau c dash and then our design of the one way shear and two way shear is ok you also refer the textbook differentiate under and sorry question for OA differentiate under and for section and over and for section under and for section we already discussed about under and for single RCB and double RCB this is the same in the under and for section the steel provided in a beam in such that still reach the limit value of the strain priority to tolerate I will explain this in the brief I don't need to go there deeply. In the under reinforced section, the steel 
which will be uh, reach at its limit limit value of the strain that means the steel will be bent first in the concrete that means under end for section is always used for the structure in the over end for section the concrete will be reach this concrete will be reach its limit value first then the steel that means concrete will be failure directly in the uh, in the before the steel because concrete will be directly failure still it will be bent before the failure so that means always we always use under end for section because the steel will be before the failure of the structure steel will be give sign of the failure so steel will be bent before the concrete will be bent so this is the under end for section advantage this is the second paper, paper may 2000